everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about houses. We're going to go look at some houses. We're going to look at a lot of houses as far as I understand. Sorry, I'm trying to find a parking spot. Yeah, let's go. Well, the moment you fell, you could start over new. Was the same that you realized the stories were true? You opened your eyes and the world you could see It wasn't dim, it was brighter, you'd have to agree intro but we are on the way to go look at like a slew of houses I I don't know how many do you know how many uh, Aaron said four. four I think two of them are in our criteria two of them are not we're just looking at them because we're out here I don't know we were both like yeah we'll look at them but we're not gonna buy them we're not gonna offer anything on them we don't want them so we don't want to waste your time if you don't want to do it but you signed us up for them anyway so we're like all right we'll go look and it'll be fun to tour two more houses, I guess, but like, not buying them. There's not enough land to sell. We're late. We're late. We are late, indeed. Gabriel's back there, wanting more breakfast. Later on in this video, we are going to talk about my grandpa's house, because the last time that we talked, we were going to take, you know, a break from looking at houses until my grandpa made a decision. We'll, we'll talk about that at the end, because I'll... It'll make so much more sense because it's not necessarily that we're not going to live there, if that makes sense. Okay, so I didn't pull up my camera at all to film at that house. We went in negatively and came out less negatively, I feel as though, but still like... It wasn't bad. It's not that the house is bad. The house is good, in, I would wager. But it's... the property is not what we want. So we did not. We don't want it. But we have chatting to do, so. Next house, here we go. Okay, we're gonna start out here because I'm not going into the basement. Uh, we saw another house in between here, which was a foreclosure, but then there's this house, which should be a foreclosure. It is old as heck. The floor bows in a couple of rooms. That. <laughs> Pong a door! Love it. that room. Then there's another room. Hi everyone. We are updating on houses in this video, but I'm taking a brief intermission to share some... I'm so excited about this. Um, I am uploading a video for tomorrow, <laughs> which is like a week ago when you'll see this video. I'm so excited because it's the first time all year and Part of last year i'm putting it up instead of like putting it up for like right now i'm putting it up as like scheduled upload because it's going up tomorrow at 11 a.m because i finished it and i'm so excited so excited and i get to cross it off my to-do list for tomorrow because it's already been done today and i got it crossed off my schedule i'm very excited i wanted to interrupt to say that okay so update on like the house business which is basically all this um vlog has been so far but I promise there'll be other things soon. Uh, first, we talked to our contractor yesterday about pricing and everything for a home. We also went and just viewed a bunch of houses, talked about moving south of the cities. It was a whole day. Um, no real updates that change anything. So, yeah, we'll keep you updated. But otherwise, I am up. I'm driving to the airport to pick up my brother and Anna on the highway. It's a morning. It's not too cold. It's about 16 degrees. 
Yesterday it was about 9 degrees. We went on a double date last night. It was super fun. And then we came home and we played games. Super duper super fun. So it is the end of the month, so it's refresh time. As you saw, I redid, uh, I it's actually the beginning of the year too, and I filled up my laundry detergent. I buy one big box of drops. It's got like 256 pods in it, and it lasts me an entire year with three people, and we have stuff left over. Um, they're awesome, they're on a subscription. The widest like time frame that you can have is six months, but you can always skip a cycle so I skipped my second cycle last year and this lasted me a whole year it was $50 for my 265 drops pods everything is recyclable there is no waste as you saw I put that in my trash can but that box like container of trash is actually going to get sorted when we bring it upstairs and put it out in our trash so it will get recycled and there is absolutely no waste which is super duper awesome I love drops they're great quality they work super well and there's no waste, so it's even better. On top of that, it was time to refresh the monthly calendar, so I redid the monthly calendar, and now I'm sitting down to do my planner. It's the beginning of the week. Next, like tomorrow's the beginning of the week for my planner, and it's the end of the month, so it's the beginning of the month for my planner. I want to take you guys through what I do with my planner and how it's set up and everything. So it's the end of January, and it's got this. 
in the beginning of February and says all you need is love and champagne and candy, which I think is great. Um, I hate champagne, but it, I get the point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fill out the January side of it here. And I can't read this backwards and I don't remember what it says because honestly, I have not filled it out until this point. Um, but it's basically like a gold tracker. So it says things I did gold stars so like yay happy for me i did these things um i have a lot of colored pens so i'm going to choose one for each section in this section i'm going to do blue the next section i'm going to choose a different color i think i'm going to choose purple is things i did but didn't have to so these are the things that like i didn't say i needed to get done this month extra stuff that i was going to do um, or weren't necessarily on my goal list. So for this, I'm going to talk about like moving my room and cleaning everything up and that kind of thing. The next section is things I didn't do. There's plenty, but I don't know what to put on this list. So it's going to take me a minute to think about it. Slash, I might give up a little bit easy. My goal is to put at least one thing on here. one thing to put on there that I'll have on my goals for next month and then it's uh, things I absolutely had to do so need to do next month. I also don't know what to put on here because I had a really productive January. Actually I know one thing. Okay now that it's all filled out I'm going to flip past the February page and go to the February calendar spread. This is what it looks like. So on the side column, um, the February side, it says the month. It has mini calendar and then it has notes. On the notes, I always like to put what each color means. So when I write things down, I know if it's work related, an anniversary, an event, etc. <music> I am going to write down, sorry, the two days of January that are missing on this calendar. Now there's a section that says don't forget, and this is where I'm going to transfer over those goals from last month that were on the back of my thing that I need to do. It's a point in time where I'm going to fill things out according to birthdays, events, that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to show you what my week looks like. to the very first week so this is what the first week spread looks like basically I picked three things to put on the things I must do so the big things that I really really want to get done work related or in my home whatever things that I want to do on a daily basis right now I'm just gonna fill out like the general stuff so like work um, on Saturday we talk about bills on Sunday we go to church, that kind of stuff, and then leave the rest of it to do later tonight. And I am done until later. Hi everybody, I wanted to check in because yesterday I kind of showed you what my to-do list looked like and all of that kind of stuff and I filled out whatever. Um, I showed you what my planner looks like, my calendars, and my how that refresh kind of looks at the beginning of the month slash week. Technically, it's not the beginning of the month yet, but the beginning of the month will be this week. So I showed you guys all of that, and I wanted to update you 
um, kind of on how the planner is going. So typically what happens after I put in my big stuff like work and going to church and all that stuff that kind of happens during the week or any appointments and things that I already have planned, I kind of like fill out little things that I want to do throughout the day each day based on what's on my to-do list, what's going on that week, etc. Just depending upon what it is. And today I had five things on my to-do list. I needed to do laundry, I wanted to clean up my closet, I wanted to go through all of my shirts. I need to put my laundry away. Um, and then I wanted to go through my closet, which I did, and then I needed to put in an, a grocery order and get that ordered and picked up, and I did. Those were my three big things for today. And then my, I had three additional things. A YouTube video went up today. I actually put that up last night, so yay. Um, really getting there. The planner thing is really working for me so far. Um, and then my other two things that I didn't get to today, number one was to buy slash create Gregory's Valentine's Day present. Um, and then I attempted something for it and I absolutely hated it. So now I'm going to find something else out. So that one didn't really get done, but I'm about to sit down and like scroll through and do that. I also need to post for the podcast, so I will be doing that as well very shortly here. And then my other thing that I didn't get to today is I was supposed to call a cruise line about a credit that I have. It's a really long backstory, but I didn't do it. I should have done it when my son was napping and I didn't because I had a lot of anxiety. So instead I made a list about the things that were making me anxious and I subdivided them to the specific things within that category that was making me anxious. So for example, work. What in work? And then I listed out all of my jobs. What about each of those jobs is making me anxious? Yeah, that was productive. Anyway, so that's kind of the update <laughs> on the calendar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Little update about houses, little update about how I'm staying organized. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Then hit the bell down below so you can get notifications for when more videos come out. Feeling good. I just recorded an other, another video that I don't know if I'm going to share or not yet. So look out for that. Yeah, anyway. I love you guys so much and we'll see you next time. Love, Genevieve.